So uh, I'm Noel, I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, my background is in biomedical science. After that, I became increasingly interested in, I guess, wherever biology meets technology. And I became increasingly interested in tech and I decided to go back and do a master's in computer science. So my role is I am a data science intern within the metrics and valuation team. So what that team does essentially takes these kind of big questions that are difficult to answer. Like, for example, how good are we doing at discovering drugs? So obviously not an easy thing to answer. And the idea is within these different areas, try and break them down into different components and then try and develop measurable metrics within those different components, which hopefully then together aggregated can help us answer those questions or at least give us a good guide of how we're doing. Benevolence always been on my radar ever since I became interested in tech. Uh, it's one of a handful of companies that really inspired me to go into this area and kind of prove to me that there is a booming space for the intersection of biology and technology. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was a coding test that I had to do initially, which I actually thought was really fair. Like I'd done a few because I was interviewing for a few places at the time. and. I've also heard of some nightmare uh, coding tests, but I thought it was really fair and relevant to the kind of work you do. And then after that, there was an interview with the data science team themselves. And to be honest, it sounds a bit weird, but I actually found it quite enjoyable, uh, which is not a usual experience for an interview. Uh, so it's a real credit to them for helping putting me at ease. But then also, apart from standard interview questions, they uh, gave me kind of two kind of bigger abstract problems and the whole uh, process involved me thinking out loud and trying to break it down and then they'd help me and give me hints if I got stuck and I thought it was just a really cool way to interview and in hindsight it's essentially what we do as a team within metrics and evaluation so it makes a lot of sense in trying to find the right candidate so yeah to be honest I couldn't really speak highly enough I thought it was really good. Obviously it can vary from day to day, but there are some consistent things. So we'd, as a team, we would have a daily stand-up, which I think is a pretty normal process within technology industry. And that would involve essentially just each member of the team talking about what they've done over the previous day, uh, what they plan to do. And then it's also a time where you can bring up if you're being blocked or if there's anything that's causing you issues. And um, so that we do that every day. And then as well as that, my project and the team involves collaborating a lot with different areas and different teams within the business. That involves often trying to understand these different complex systems within Benevolent. So a lot of time I might meet with a member from another team and get them to help me kind of understand how everything works. And then apart from that, the more day-to-day -day kind of work would often involve kind of a decent bit of coding. And so it would involve a lot of data engineering, the whole idea being within a certain area, we want to find out what data is there, what can we do with it and what, well, I guess what questions can we answer with it? I guess, honestly, when I applied, I kind of thought it was a bit of a shot in the dark. Um, like I know I, in hindsight, I definitely have, a, I'm pretty lucky in that I have both biology and technology background, which is good, but I guess I kind of thought, because I didn't go to a top UK university, I thought I kind of didn't really have a chance and I sent the application in without really any expectations, but ever, even within the interview and then while I'm in the business now, I kind of get the sense they really care more about what you can do or what you've done rather than your credentials purely, which I think is always good. I guess one of the biggest surprises, it sounds funny, but is the people. Like I expect them to be nice, like people are generally nice, but I didn't expect them to be that nice. Uh, like I've chatted with plenty of people, both junior and also more really quite senior level. And everyone just has so much time. They're so generous and kind, really helpful and willing to chat and talk to you about if it could be something related to your project or it could be something just you want to understand better about benevolent. and. I found that really welcoming and then also motivating because it kind of made me want to be more like that and kind of contribute more. Then the other aspects that I found a surprise, I thought it was really cool. They do um, what are called challenge days. So essentially within a quarter, uh, you can be part of a project that 
maybe it's nothing to do with anything you know. For example, uh, in the recent challenge day, I've been part of a project to do with protein ligand binding, which I'm really interested in, but it's something that I wouldn't really had an opportunity to be exposed to without the challenge days. And you also get free lunch, which is good. There's also a program, which I think might have started up as a result of the pandemic and it's probably uh, common enough nowadays, but it's uh, every two week, every week you get paired up with either another person within the business or a group of people and they can be from anywhere and the whole idea is you just chat for about 30 minutes really about anything and especially as an intern one of the biggest benefits is networking opportunities so for me it was really helpful because it allowed me to chat to people that maybe I wouldn't have got to talk to before but if it wasn't for the pandemic I would maybe get to organically meet. Quite a lot. So I'm only halfway through now, which is flown by. To be honest, it feels like I just got here. I feel like I developed in most aspects, like technical, soft skills, project management skills. I feel like they've all come on a huge amount. It's always just good to get industry experience. And then also it's been really cool to find out how a company that's, I guess, as complex as Benevolent works. And for me, it's really confirmed in my head that this is the industry I want to be in and this is the kind of career path I want to follow which for me is just that's been huge and that's been brilliant and then most importantly I guess just met some great people I, I couldn't speak highly enough of the people in Benevolent in any part of the business and yeah they've just been brilliant.